Well, I'm gonna do some fried cabbage here tonight, I think. Just uh, pretty simple. I have some onions cut up. Garlic. I don't know why garlic's yellow. It's old, but still tastes good. I had it in a jar. Uh, three cloves of garlic, about half an onion. And then cabbage that I cut up into chunks. Just enough for me and another leftover maybe for tomorrow. It was uh, about half a cabbage and half an onion. And I'm going to use these cheese franks because that's what I have. So I'm going to get these cheese franks in a pan. And I'm going to get them browned up nice and brown and black. I like them that way. And then we'll throw the cabbage and the rest of the stuff in. So I'll show you once I get these going. So I guess you can hang around if you're hungry for fried cabbage. All right, well, that's just uh, just wieners and olive oil. I want to get them nice and browned up. And then we'll add the cabbage and the onions. Probably could add the onions now, but I'm going to wait a little bit. Stick around. I kind of cheated and put the onions in already and the garlic. They're getting browned up. I want them a little more brown than that, but you can make them however you want. Well, I'm getting hungry, so I'm going to put the cabbage in. I don't know if I can get all this in there. Surely I can. It'll shrivel down to nothing, practically. So, I'll just give it a little stir without spilling it all over. I think there's some wieners over there. All right, well... I'm going to put some salt on. Uh, I already have garlic, actual garlic in there, so. And some pepper. I don't like this pepper. I'd rather have, you know, like the table, the kind of fine ground pepper, but this is all I have right now. So I'm going to put it all in there. Turn it down a little bit more. And I'm going to put the lid on it. And we'll check it in, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes or so. See what it's looking like. Stick around. Well, let's have a look see. This has been probably a half hour anyway. I've been cooking it slow. You can cook it faster if you want to stand here and keep your eye on it but I'm over in this kitchen table watching uh, Lord of the Rings and scratching Stewie on the back she wants scratched on the back so I'm cooking this slow and it's just about ready I'll put the lid on them and let it go some more and we'll check back again in a little bit all right, let's take a look. Ooh, that looks good. That's ready for me anyway. Cabbage is nice and softened up. Looks good. Let's turn it off. Turn it off. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the plate here. I'm not going to eat yet. Because it's, uh, what time is it? It's 4 o'clock on the nose, so I'm not going to eat until about 7 or 8 o'clock, but just so you can see how nice it looks, how good it looks. Can you see that? Really nice. Nice and tasty cabbage and fried, fried cabbage and wieners. So, if I wasn't on keto, I think I'm sure this is keto friendly. Some might argue the wieners, but they are low in carbs, so... I'm going to call it keto. The clock went off and cut my video. But uh, anyway, I'm going to consider it keto friendly. And if I had, if I wasn't on keto, and I had some nice Italian bread, I'd have a thick slice of Italian bread with real butter. 
right here. So what would you all have to put next to that? I'd like to be, I'd be interested in knowing what you'd have as a, something to go with that right there. So let me know in the comments. And try some fried cabbage. It's easy, quick, cheap. And you can put, this is really good if you put like Jimmy Dean sausage in. With, uh, instead of the wieners, there's a lot of things you can put in there. So cabbage is good, versatile, and cheap. Give some a try. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and stay frosty. Dale out. Hey, I just thought I'd give you a quick look at my camera mount that I have on the dash. That's how I film. That's how I film my videos when it's a ride along. So that's what I'm looking at. Those rat, the hankies are there to. Quit keep it from rattling. Well, it works pretty good.